in my hometown the temple elephant now the elephant is no more it died but i have seen that elephant will behave so softly so softly beautifully with the people i have seen with my own eyes one kid has fallen on the feet of the elephant actually the elephant was walking in the temple procession one small kid has gone to have the blessing after the the elephant blessed and he was walking the kid has exactly fallen into the feet if this guy puts the feet down now the kid will be crushed i have seen that elephant standing like that without putting the foot down at least full 2 minutes till the parents came and picked up the kid and even after that he was not so sure the kid has been picked up safely he walk he puts the foot back side and walks back side at least 3 4 feet to make sure the kid is safe only after he has seen the kid with his own eyes he was comfortable what i am describing thousands were witness in 1987 the temple festival this happened even the donkey can pick up the intelligence it is the deity which is receiving the worship and respect it can fall in tune so even your body and mind can pick up the intelligence it is a eternal feeling is from the consciousness so let us be tuned to that and celebrate and enjoy that consciousness of eternal sun can be tuned realizing the wealth and power he has is because of his father's responsibility let me also become responsible like him and become a strength for the parents i have both responsible kids and spoiled brats both i tell you from that my own experience i have tons of spoiled brats who use my power strength influence sometime even wealth and never take my responsibility and i also have tons of responsible kids who knows this power wealth influence spiritual power everything is because of the responsibility swami ji has taken let me also be part of it and i have tons of the kids who are in between oscillating sometimes they think they should become responsible sometimes they think no 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 need i tell you more and more your body and mind feels the feeling of eternity is from your consciousness the context of consciousness i tell you when that context of consciousness is allowed to sink in your system even your bio memory muscle memory mind body everything becomes more and more responsible to radiate that eternity to radiate that nitya the moment your body and mind starts radiating the nitya life becomes nitya ananda nitya ananda is nothing but your anitya components starts becoming responsible like nitya components if your anitya components uses only the powers of nitya component life is hell so you have both components nitya and anitya eternal and ephemeral if your ephemeral components becomes responsible like eternal components of you 
for the sake of describing i am saying even the eternal part of you as component of you but the eternal part of you is you it is not part of you that is you nityam advitiyam eternal part of you is you your body and mind if it remembers the eternal component of you that consciousness and starts falling in tune with that continuously living advaita becomes reality today in the kalabhairava stotra there is a beautiful line shantaya namaha kalabhairava is called as shantaya namaha shanta janapriyaya namaha who is the lover of the peaceful people oh lord the peaceful and oh lover of the peaceful people and he is the most terrorizing god when he lands the wave he is but i tell you the center is always the eternal peace i can see even when he lands in the body the periphery only is shaken the center is eternal peace shantaya if your body and mind grasps the qualities of the context of eternity from the context of eternity understand context of eternity from the context of eternity not the context of eternity from the context of time listen context of eternity from the context of time is like past present future forever when i say context of eternity from the context of eternity even the concept of time is forgotten as long as you measure eternity from the context of time it is not a complete understanding of eternity if kala measured by kala you don't understand kala completely kala is beyond kala and akala kala is beyond kala kala nitya is beyond nitya nitya which can be grasped by your mind the real kala is beyond the kala akala which can be grasped by your mind so don't even try to understand consciousness from the context of your body mind understand it is beyond the possibilities of your body mind when you understand it is beyond the possibilities of your body and mind the eternal meditation on consciousness will be happening please understand anything which you understand as too big you just get soaked into it you just get relaxed into it you just disappear into it i have always seen whenever sometime i get question from people swami ji how is it that you are just you walk wherever you go travel just people are following you and tens of people just leave everything and come away be with you please understand now i am telling you the business secret now i can't use the word business secret maybe the trade secret 
even trade secret word may not be right service secret <laughs> like trademark service mark service secret understand i know very clearly who is going to come away with me means just follow me who is not going to the moment i see that they are being as grasped that i am impossible to be measured by their body and mind i just know they are going to be with me and i tell you make i am not even saying you should come with me who wants you i don't want <laughs> i already have enough of people <laughs> with whom i have to work and train them <laughs> just now many time people are afraid i may go away with him don't worry i am not going to accept you <laughs> if you have fear of me i have fear of you don't worry <laughs> if <laughs> you have love for me i have love for you understand sometimes people have so much of arrogance they think if they leave me i am going to miss them understand when you don't want me in your life before that itself i decided i don't want you in my life <laughs> that is why you even feel that you don't want me in your life before you saw me i saw you before you love me i started loving you before you leave me i left you understand <laughs> before you saw me i saw you before you started loving me i started loving you before you left me i left you <laughs> be very clear <laughs> it's life it's life understand this truth remember the eternal component of you the conscious component of you is beyond the possibility of any defining by your body and mind actually the moment under you understand your body and mind cannot define it it is beyond the possibility your body and mind just falls in love with the consciousness because you always fall in love with something which is far more greater than you which you think which you are able to perceive which you are able to understand is it i can say that when you are unknown part of you is understood as far beyond your comprehension you just fall in love with it <coughs> celebrating the unknown component of you is religion being frightened by the unknown component of you is atheism understand celebrating the unknown component of you the nitya is religion all religions celebrate unknown part of you consciousness being frightened of unknown component of you is atheism all atheistic traditions ask you to forget about the unknown part of you by denying it because it feels too much to grasp the unknown i tell you when you celebrate the unknown you know how to love the unknown falling in love with unknown celebrating unknown making your body and mind understand the conscious component of you is beyond your grasp 
all this is one and the same various sides of living advaita listen please listen let your body and mind absorb the context of eternity from the context of eternity the qualities of consciousness from the context of consciousness you yourself spend little time with you even though you see every day so many people dying how come you have a such a strong faith you are not going to die because you are not going to die understand the truth your faith is not wrong it is wrong only when you use it in the wrong context you may change body and mind but you are not going to die the experience you are going to exist forever is truth celebrate that experience don't question that first in the misunderstanding it is like when i tell people drop smoking they drop me <laughs> same way only don't question the experience of eternity don't say i am not going to be eternally alive my idea of i am going to be eternally alive is stupid no question only the context which you think as you when you feel you are eternal or ephemeral question that your idea your body and mind not the idea you are eternal when yudhishthira was questioned by yaksha अगन्यगनि भूतानि गच्छन्ति हयम मन्दिरम शेषा स्थिरमिच्छन्ति किमाश्चर्यमिति परम द आंसर बाय धर्मराज युधिष्ठिर बिकॉज युधिष्ठिर इज सन ऑफ धर्मराज ही इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज धर्मराज युधिष्ठिर आंसर्स टू यक्षा हु इज एक्चुअली हिज ओन फादर धर्मराज कम्स इन द डिस्गाइज ऑफ यक्षा एंड क्वेश्चंस हिम इन महाभारत Mahabharata the Yaksha asks Yudhishthira what is the most surprising thing Yudhishthira answers after seeing every day people dying still human beings feeling they are going to be eternal is the most surprising thing on the planet earth i wanted to tell i want all of you to know maybe yudhishthira knows dharma he doesn't know moksha i tell you even knowing so many people are dying every day still you feel you are going to be eternal means there is a part of you which is eternal <laughs> what you see every day dying is body mind that part is going to die even in you but not you so soak yourself in the clarity of eternity don't question that belief even if you question you will never be able to start believing that you are not going to be here for eternally even if you suppress eating whole day in the night in the dream you will be feasting same way even if you start believing whole day you are not eternal in the dream you will remember you are eternal you are eternal is the truth if you try to apply that in the wrong context the context is wrong not the truth because 
you got electrocuted electricity is not wrong you used it in the wrong context so electricity cannot be responsible for you getting electrocuted you are you using it in wrong context is reason 